You know, ever since I was a little kid, I've been fascinated with music. And over the years, I've been collecting exotic instruments from all over the world. So today, I'm going to take you on a musical journey around the globe and show you five instruments from my collection. Let's begin. Our musical journey starts in a country that I visited two years ago in the southeast of Asia called Vietnam. The instrument in question is called the Dan Moi, the family of mouth harps. Now, mouth harps are one of the oldest instruments in the world, and every civilization created their own version. In India, it's called the Morsing or Morchang. The original name of this instrument was the Jam but later became Dan Moy because Dan means instrument and Moy means lips. Well, as you can guess, it is played by keeping the instrument between the lips and hitting one end to cause a vibration. This vibration starts a sound, which can then be modified by changing the shape of your mouth. Now see if you can spot the vowels A-E-I-O-U. Moving westwards and northwards, we come to the land of ballet, Russia. The instrument that I got from there is very interesting. Inspired by the hang drum, the Rab Vast was created by Andrei Remyanikov in 2013. It has a hypnotic, meditative sound, which is produced by hitting parts of the instrument with your hand. Now, because of its flying saucer shape, some people call it the UFO drum. Now, each instrument is tuned to a certain scale, and the best part of playing this instrument is that it never goes out of tune, and you can never hit a wrong note. Belonging to a branch of musical instruments called lamellophones, the kalimba is a very old African instrument, about 1000 BCE. It is also called a thumb piano, and it consists of thin metal blades mounted on a sound box. Now the blades have different lengths and so produce different notes. To play this instrument, you hold it between your hands and you use both thumbs to strike the metal blades. The sound of the kalimba is fairy-like and harmonic. The difference between the kalimba and the previous two instruments that I've shown you so far is that you can play more than one note at a time. Now see if you can spot that. Traveling northwest into Europe, we come to Italy, the land of spaghetti and Ferrari and pizza. This instrument is called the ocarina. And translated into English, it means little goose, but it's also called the sweet potato. Uh, it is a wind instrument that has 10 holes and it is played by uncovering the holes with your fingers. You know, a fun fact about this instrument for avid gamers is that Nintendo used it extensively for the soundtrack of its famous game, Zelda. Finally, after crossing the Atlantic and the Pacific Oceans, we come to the Polynesian islands of Hawaii, and specifically the island of Maui. Well, not him. It was here that a man called Brian Whitman cut up some bamboo growing behind his house and attached a saxophone mouthpiece to it, and he created a crossover instrument that looked like a flute, had a saxophone mouthpiece, and sounded like a clarinet. He called it the bamboo phone, but thankfully it was shortened to the zafoon. Now, when I bought this zafoon, I called up the shop and, to find out whether they had it, and the store attendant couldn't understand my accent and asked incredis incredulously if I wanted to buy a buffoon. Well, here's the zafoon. <laughs>
So there you go. Thank you for joining me in a short trip into the world of exotic instruments that you rarely ever see. It was a pleasure to make this video for all of you, and I hope someday one of you may find some other quirky instrument yet undiscovered in some remote corner of this world. And remember that if you do, be sure to make a video on it and share it with your friends. Thank you and adios.